No, it's not. <laughs> All right, getting ready to do this thing we call release day. Quiet on the set, boys and girls. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. What happened to that dancing leech? I'll tell you what. He, he disappeared he, he because He was rocking Condis, out right in the middle of the screen. And he then, uh, logged he out Condis, or something. Uh, went ahead or, or, and pulled him. Moved, moved <laughs> Welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is release 54 and it is live. Lots of new changes out there for you people. Uh, some good, some not so or, good, some interesting, as, some not so interesting. Or as caffeine says it, uh, welcome to the shit show. Welcome to the shit show, that's right. We don't know what the hell we're doing. Of course, first thing uh, you guys might have noticed is that uh, very far Zoom I started with today. We have uh, uh, the new feature. Yeah. Uh, the field of view for you folks uh, allows you to uh, yay zoom and zoom out Whoa. yeah now uh, just for the record uh, with the new release I turned everything back up to full um, we're gonna see how that uh, goes throughout today and uh, see if we have any issues with that yeah I like yeah. I, I like that new dance for that uh, yeah, it's a, the the one thing I don't like about the new f field of view is like uh, he should actually me, play it, a song. <laughs> yeah, he he should definitely be playing a song while while he's doing that. Um, <laughs> it stretches out the back side of things, and it so does my, have my perspective, a bit, yeah, my yeah, my perspective is a little bit more skewed as far as like distances, and that's probably going to be until I actually get used to it. It takes a little getting used yeah. to, is uh, but the the field of view you can actually catch. I I haven't tried it in the dungeons or anything like that yet. And, I've only uh, uh, well, let's good. see what, what other with... new options. I mean, I'm running it best with maximum shadow distance, reflections quality is actually at medium right now, and I do not play in full screen because I hate full screen because I like to alt tab out of things quite frequently. Yeah, even in full screen, I don't have that problem that the players have. I'm in full screen, and I switch over to. But yeah, again, yeah. I I do too many other things to have that. Yeah, up. I I do way <laughs> too many. Other I'm running things five too. monitors. Yeah. I can't waste the whole monitor on the game screen all day. I just can't do it. <laughs> just no. can't do it. But yes. but I I did actually have to go change that option again because of with the new change in the graphics it launched right as off full the bat, screen you launched so automatically to, yeah. in full screen did not notice and that i had today. to change that so um noticed a couple other streamers uh, prepping for their live streams today uh, the first things they were doing was uh, going through the menus pre-login to and playing check with all us. their options yes. yes absolutely so uh if you're logging in today uh, go ahead and double check your options <clears throat> make sure everything's set the way you wanted it and the way you've had it, uh, because you may find a couple of additional things uh, different today, as it may be. And again, uh, one of those is you will start in uh, 
full screen mode apparently and uh, the initial starting mode they also changed that let's cover a couple of those we go into the options uh, menu okay hold on hold on let me go bring that up and let me go uh find the options in the list of well it's not all together in one thing man. i know that's why that's, i'm just that's, showing that's, it to them in the actual yeah. options uh in the release notes it's not all in one thing so no real audio changes at all um uh under video you do have the field of view for first person as well as for your general uh third person view or uh over the shoulder kind of camera um what i was talking about the uh Quality level options and the multiplayer options. Uh, they've been uh, renamed, well, well, retitled. Um, open party and private? It, yes. Well, let's see. Wasn't that the way it was? Um, no, it used to be multiplayer, friends only, and single yeah, that, player. That changed offline. a couple of releases ago, no, though. No, it didn't. Open, pl or open last just release. Came in, <laughs> open just came in this release, party came in last release. Open was still multiplayer, uh, okay. I believe, up uh, okay. until so, this release. So, a lot of things yeah. getting oh, some yeah, name changes. Oh, yeah, multiplayer was renamed to Open. Yes. And um, uh, your quality levels are now fastest, fast, simple, good, very good, that, best, that is, that, and custom. That, that, is, that is silly. Uh, a fastest to... Fast. It, I, fast it starts off with a speed setting, <laughs> and then it goes into a visual knob setting. So um, I don't maybe make this they, stuff. I just report. Yeah, it out. yeah. We we just report it. We just interpret it. So it starts off with a speed setting, and then it graduates into a we're turning on every single option setting, uh, which. I mean, they they could have sat there and said from fastest to slowest, but best looking. <laughs> yeah, who knows? But, anyway, no, no, it it'll get me. renamed again soon. You know, it's just like our telethon. absolutely our, yeah, our telethon has a different name every other you, month. You mean that that loud. thing coming up on Monday? So, yeah, that that yes. event coming up this Monday. That's right. Let's uh, not forget to tell them about that real quick. Uh, release fifty fours post mortem live stream telethon thingy that they do every month to help raise funds for the game is coming up this Monday. Uh, four days, three hours, 52 minutes, and 40 so oh, wait, I, seconds. I need, to, I need to refresh because I was still on 23 hours because it <laughs> doesn't always work the way it should. Yeah, let's see. Let's uh, make it's sure four that's hours, three hours, 52 day. minutes, and a handful of seconds. There we go. And, uh, of course, uh, and, uh, yeah... Five dollars, new money donations. Uh, we'll probably cover the list of items tomorrow. We got a lot to cover for you guys and gals out we, there. Today. We don't have anything. To we cover have nothing. Today. I know nothing, <laughs> nothing. Because you, you know what? Those release fifty four instructions have nothing. It is a blank document for some odd reason. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's got nothing on it. It's a completely blank document there's nothing to see nothing here nothing to see Move here along. yeah nothing to see here nothing to see about like a triple crossbow uh nothing none of that stuff now you know if you really want to jump right to it go right to your favorites the uh, picture of the uh skeletons <laughs> pictures of the skeletons yeah why you, do, do you want me to like sit there and like face palm the fact that they're called plunderers still well i i just had to poke poke away at the fun because it says skeleton plunderers and polish skeleton plunderers who look remarkably, who look remarkably like, like pirate skeletons <laughs> are the latest addition to the armies they of just the had undead. to stick it to you there yeah yeah they couldn't just call uh, them pirate skeletons yeah no <laughs> yeah uh, but the, they've also made Disney some existing thing. Character. We got to watch out yeah. for Disney because Disney will whack yeah. your pee pee if you look at them the wrong I, way I, these days. I don't know. I, yeah. I don't think that's a Disney thing because yeah, they got uh, pirates of the yeah. Caribbean, so skeleton pirates are now in their official domain yeah, 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 or something. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. 
Well, I mean, I, I think the Brothers Grimm would protest more about like Disney co-opting all their all the all of their stories. But yeah, um, but yes, yeah, so they also polish some existing characters, including Ice Wolves, the Crown Merchant, and the Frost Geist victims. Victims. And n- now we have some awesome zombies. Zombies do not discriminate, which is. Where, where's the picture of the zombie children? I don't know. We were all over the board here, so I have no idea where you're at. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Is the zombie children even in here? I didn't see them. I do not see any zombie children yeah, here. I didn't see the no, zombie no children. No zombie children. It's but there. Yes. It's just not there. I love this. Yes. So, release 40, 54, uh, they've changed back to Unity 2018. Um, it's the... So they have upgraded in Unity internally. They've also made some major improvements to both frame rate and load times through a combination of Unity upgrades, asset optimization, performance fallbacks, and bug fixes. Bug. Yes. Uh, they added some new scenes, uh, Upper Tiers, Shaminian Hills. They also uncloned the town of West End. Uh, they polished 20 additional scenes uh, with various improvements like hey, we're going to add some more conversation. We're going to make those quests actually kind of make sense. Some new books, including book one and book four of a four-part series, whereas before you could only buy books one and two. Uh, some additional traps, some other things. The story was polished somewhat, as well as some additional side quests. Where are you at? Because you the didn't top. start at the top. I know this. <laughs> the top? where it says performance, then new and polished scenes, and then right below the little picture of uh, I, I believe that's West End is um, story polish and side quests. Have you f- figured out where I'm at yet? Okay, I found you. <laughs> Did I start at the top? No. <laughs> Did you start at the top? No. I was down where at- you were on crossbows and stuff, so you know you, oh. you were the one who mentioned crossbows, not me. So. <laughs> oh, I said this was a blank document too, but I mean, should well, you actually trust everything that comes out of my mouth? I, we don't trust anything on this channel. No, These guys don't know anything. Yeah, yeah. We, we make everything up anyway, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we interpret the news. We, we yeah. So companions, uh, don't forget that companions are in offline mode. Although they, you can find them in online mode. They just won't follow you around and do all kinds of weird things with you. Uh, but in offline mode, the companions will level up now. So as really? you level up, yes, the party, the they are more party, more powerful as the party levels up which means as you level up, your companions become more powerful. Mm. They also have many more abilities to use. They're better at using their abilities. You may or may not get a heal heal spell cast on you. (laughs) And they're more aware of their combat environment. So some improvements to the uh, NPC companion AI was made. Hicks, what's stopping you, buddy? What's stopping you? Come on back. Wait, what are you, who are you talking to? Hicks206. Uh, w- he what, needs what, he needs it? to get back to playing Tragedy Avatar. And, uh, uh, y- y- yes. Maddie yes, says, yes. do it, do it. Yes, yes. yes. But uh, Hicks, what's stopping you, brother? Get in here. Come join us. You know where we are. Apply the patches, man. Yeah. Uh, maybe this weekend. Uh, maybe this weekend in... And Laz's bot doesn't like you because you didn't even post a link. You know, he tried to post a link. He didn't ask for permission. Well, do, do you know anybody that can ask permission? Hey, can I post a link? And then you uh, yes, and say, you can yes. ask for permission, <laughs> and I can grant permission to post a link for X amount of time. Or you, you, you do not know how to use that new fancy bot. <laughs> I don't got, think do you. you? Yeah. I don't think you know how to use it either. But I do. That's beside the point. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so moving right along, we also have some crafting uh, and economy updates with uh, new recipes, patterns, uh, recipe banners, bathtubs, so you can finally wash the stench off. 
uh, Elven right. Light and a new cloak. They're also working on the improvement to the commissioned player vendors uh, that we talked about yesterday, where that commission is coming off the back end yes, and not and the front end. That's right. Yes. And if you currently have an item posted already on a commissioned vendor, uh, this is the player vendors, not the the public vendors, uh, then the commission is zeroed out on the back end for you already. Supposedly. Now, what happens if you've got one on a public vendor? Well, remember, public vendors take it off the front end because if that seven days expires, that gets sold to the NPCs. So... So you will end up with all kinds of weird things. I have to no go play what. with that just for giggles. And yeah, uh, public vendors are still taking it off the front end, not the back end. Um, so because you do have to find a way, as Zeke said yesterday, you do have to find a way to minimize the number of crap items that do get posted to public vendors. Because yeah, there I is was going to comment. I was going to comment on that yesterday. It's very simple. Everybody's allowed ten. Duh, that's already programmed in. Well, <laughs> remember, those things still have a limit of, what, I understand 400 that, items? But, yeah, when you get yeah. 300,000 players posting 10 items apiece, if I have seven yeah. days, it's still a yeah. lot of items. Yeah, those, uh, <laughs> those uh, public vendors are going to be used and abused. Of course, there's only like two public vendors in the game that are getting used, but yeah. What, Al's head and uh, Brittany? Or, I, I don't even know which You know, ones. I was going to say Kingsport because it's the only one I ever see that actually has anything on it. I've oh, been okay. yeah. to all these other player towns and I said, no, look at this. Public vendor yeah. in this town. Anything on it? Nope. Nope. Yeah, well, I don't like the idea of public vendors anyways. For the most part, they're useless. Uh, but skeleton pirates... I refuse to call them plunderers. Um, plunderers! Then, yeah, let's skip down to story and story. conversation do, polish. Do you really want to talk about the story? Well, if I want to cry, I talk about story. <laughs> um, and maybe I feel like crying because I am a little sensitive right now. I, I did get into a Facebook fight oh, earlier. Where is story? <laughs> story, under release 54. Um, conversation polish. They, yeah, yeah. Polish the order at which the keywords appear in the menu to better aid conversation navigation. They also fixed over 500 typos and finally added a spell checker to their conversation tool to prevent these in the future. <laughs> Still won't prevent them because you have to remember that the dire prophecy is D-I-R-A-E, which is the Latin version of saying dire. Okay, so who said and, we and were using Latin? Um, Runic is nowhere near Latin. So why would um, you think it the, was... The conversation isn't in Latin. That's the written language is Runic. And if you actually look at like some of the ghost conversations, like the Anapa conversations, some of that is actually done in Latin. And if you know Latin and the English translation, the Latin to English translations are not on point. Oh, I know that. Everybody yeah. just stood up. What the fuck? Well, someone farted. That's why everybody oh, yeah. stood up, and they're like, "Woohoo! Oh man, I need to air that up." Yeah, can't believe you farted, man. man uh, you don't want then, to explode. Man. So, new user experience polish. They added a few more hints to the new user experience, including information regarding targeting. Uh, encumbrance, healing faster when out of combat, quest indicators of the compass. Uh, and the heal spell has been added to Ooh, newbies. Sparkly. Yeah. I, I still say that the entire new user experience needs to be completely revamped again and not stressed as outskirt scenes where players are really learning things. It needs to take place before they get transported to Novia. Uh, scene rebuilds. You, uh, we have the Shaminian Hills, which was worked on by yeah. the, I believe that was the Energy Vortex that did Shaminian Hills. Is, is that right? I can't remember. Is, is he even here to correct us? I don't know. I haven't seen no, him. I, mean, I see no, Gixie no, no, today. He, he, I don't see he, this. Not here. Shh. Yeah, oh. I'm not looking it up. Uh, <laughs> then also the NPC town of West End. Uh, as oh wait, I'm sorry. The Energy Vortex worked on the upper tiers. Um, 
Uh, Shemining Hills was worked on by the guy that sits to his left. And then West End was worked on by that guy that sits to his right. And <clears throat> then we do have the spoiler alert for everybody. Spoiler alert! And speaking of spoiler, we need to find out what's going on with Led Zepp. We really do. If if somebody has his phone number, please call him and say, hey, what's up? Just want to make sure you're okay. Uh, we do have Fiona Fitzowen's merchandise because every good m musician has merchandise for, sell for sale. And luckily, Fiona will give you hers for a song, speak to her as a companion in offline mode, or while she's giving a performance in Pelajar's Inn in Ardoris. Uh, I like that. In in or Doris in, in uh, online mode yeah. and ask if you can help her to learn how to obtain her unique Fitzowen legacy gear, including the unique triple crossbow and loot. So I'm curious, is it a triple crossbow that doubles as a loot or is it a triple crossbow and a and loot? It's a triple crossbow and a loot. Two not, different not items? Trip. Yes. Not the triple crossbow that is also a loot because that's there's not that's enough what strings it sounds on that. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There there it's missing an A in there. Um yeah. And then if you're looking for armor I mean, fit for I'd a like knight to be able to play my crossbow, you know, it opens up a slot for Well you me. can strum it all you want. <laughs> and yeah. You got a slot open for that. <laughs> you know, it's a player's outlook, man. That's a free <laughs> slot. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so armor for a knight, the armor worn by the Knights of Norgard is built to withstand the toughest punishment unless you go into the scenes where the Knights of Norgard are getting their asses knights handed to them because they can't kill a damn thing. Uh, but you can assist the knights and earn their right to wear your own, just like Sir Conrad Dupre. Uh, one of Norgard's finest. Y yes, you do. And you can ask Dupre if you want to buy a duck, too. Ask him uh, if he knows what a paladin is. Yeah, what's a paladin? And learn the secrets of the knightly order plate. Uh, rumor has it that true star orcs will be rewarded not only with a complete set, but with a matching sh sword and shield. Very yes. interesting. Uh, the last order is going to be Ariel Rosehaven's uh, Order of Truth gear, including the almighty cudgel of obvious truth. Uh, yeah, I'm liking some of the new names of some of these items. Cudgel of obvious of truth? Obvious truth, yes, of obvious truth. Well, as I bonk you on the head, uh, I'll be like, uh, homie, don't play that. <laughs> uah, Listen, Mr. Man. Yes. And the quest that requires you to defeat four Kabbalists, they improved the journal entries to better inform players to only report back after the four, the full set of four Kabbalists have been defeated. The Ebon Dawn scheming, the Scheme. a new prisoner is being held at Supply. a guard post in Port Graft. Um, yes, and you can learn the new scheming emote. And the prank is on Shandy. Don't forget, if you go lie to Shandy a bunch of times and lie negatively impact your virtue temporarily, it will give you the option t for learning the new heart attack. I'm coming, you know? Elizabeth. I'm coming. Yeah. And, well, that distortion on character models in the field of view thing is actually kind of scary. Yeah, it does some weird distortion to character models on the periphery. Uh, the stinking bandits, um, Stan the Clark, stinking bandits. the bard in Sultan, will send you into the Sultan sewers to retrieve his family rings from the bandit leader. Returning his family re ring will reward you with the all important head bandage, which Julian, you get. For I also. love you, man. I love you. Uh, what, what did Julian do this time? Discord. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It ain't gonna suck itself. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shit. yeah, with his arms folded, like, you know. <laughs> that, that, that is funny. <laughs> I love this shit. I awesome design about. fails. <laughs> Uh, Stinking Bandits, uh, don't forget, half the fun does take place actually in our Discord channel where you two can join by going to discord.me slash nbnn, all lowercase letters, or going to nbnn.info and clicking on the Discord link or knowing exactly where we hang out on a daily basis. That's right. We're here all day, every day. Mm, Pretty much. Except when we're not. (laughs) Except when I take off my headphones and then I may not be mentally here. Which is always the case, so, but that 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 head bandage is the perfect healing boost. Anybody before, got uh, the head bandage yet? Anybody be able to tell us what exactly it does? Please. It uh, has a special a health regeneration effect. I, I do not have it. that. I want to yeah. know what the special, what the stats are. So. Uh, Anybody who comes across one, give us a holler. Let us know so we can tell Maybe anybody else. Maybe it makes it so that way you can listen to Lunch with Laz and Jack and not get a headache. Oh, yeah, maybe. Is this thing on? No. No. I got to fix it. <laughs> okay. Work on that for a bit, and we'll let you know when it's on. Uh, the Bandit and the Skeleton Prince, the Skull Orator, because it is a talking the skull. Orator. Makes another appearance this time inside the Sultan Sewers, and he has been instructed to test your virtues once again by requesting that you retrieve those items. A blue gem, gem container from the bandit leader, and a red crystal phylactery from the skeleton prince. Phylactery? Phylactery. Phylactery. Well, it's not like a prophylactic. The, uh, a phylactery <laughs> and a prophylactic are completely different things. It's like a condominium? Yes. And, and condiments. Completely <laughs> different things. Uh, as well, usual... I really like some condiments <laughs> with the... <laughs> yeah. The orator... <laughs> I, I, it's a... The orator... I mean, is is this skeleton going to be lecturing you and really having a verbose dialogue in order to actually deserve the term orator. I otherwise maybe, it's, maybe it's being oral some other way. Um, possibly, but it's not the oral ter oral ter. Yeah. Uh we when, when you complete those you will receive the League of Skulls copper coin or you might just attract their ire and get visits from the skull clippers and skull cutters. Uh, I could use some skull clippers right about now uh-huh. because I, I haven't trimmed in a few days. <laughs> um, yeah. Gotta say, so the a lot, lot of horrors, stuff inside uh, quests here in this release, and I'm really yeah, dig- a, I'm really digging. A lot of, I gotta say, a that. lot of them are inside of the catacombs, and so I deeper in the Sultan sewers, you run into the blood barn, but blood bone footmen, blood bone. mages and archers. Um, and you can find a mysterious heartstone, um, and the heartstone seems to push you further into the sewer depths and into Solania catacombs. I don't know how it pushes you, unless it magically teleports you. Um, and um, what's inside of the Solania's catacombs? That would actually be really interesting if it rebound all of your keyboard keys to only while you have that item on you to only go forward or like and follow the path to the Solania catacombs and so even though you try as you might you can only go in the direction I, I think that would actually be kind of cool um, but th- that's probably not how it works probably not I'm willing to bet $100 that it's not the way it works uh, the Icar Witch waits uh, another new quest uh, this is going to be out in the White Guard area. Um, and more Bloodbone stuff. And you get a nice black skull trophy on that one. Nice. <clears throat> yeah. And, uh, old Prospector's back, unfortunately. Um, permanently due to player outcry. Uh, so maybe I'll go do that quest. Um, 
They made some improvements to the Broken Echo Silver Mine. Uh, Virtue Armor migration also took place. Um, the Assless Chaps of Love. The Assless Chaps yeah. of Love. Uh, they did something to it. <laughs> they fixed the... The fe- they fixed the quest to uh, collect and-, and gave the correct material bonuses to the assless chaps of love. Uh, the assless chaps of love um, actually lower. Um, they they raise your penetration ability as well as they reduce your ability to be penetrated. Doesn't make much sense, but all right. Well, it raises and lowers. I mean, there's always a positive and a yeah. negative. So, um, as as it increases your ability to penetrate things with your pole arm, uh, it also lowers your ability to be penetrated by a pole arm. So, I, it, you take it for what it's worth. It's the assless chaps of love. What can you say? And it only works with pole arms for some odd reason. Uh, the arcane catalyst. They have just the scout quest. And I hope you, everybody now, realizes. Just out of curiosity, the and yeah, never mind. I'm not going to go there. What? 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 There was a comment on the forums that the R53 lottery has already been awarded last release, and today is the R54 lottery by Beric. And I'm like, no. Well, Today's the R53 lottery gets pulled because the R54 raffle, lottery raffle. tickets. Not, it's, not, it's, not a, it's a raffle, hey, not a lottery. The boy uses the word lottery. I'm just reading what he I said. Hey, using his own not words. my fault. Okay. He doesn't know the difference between a lottery <laughs> and a raffle. And they internally confuse themselves with the I'm naming so of things. I, it's like, bring. Where's the post mortem? Oh wait, it's a live stream. It's a telethon. It's a, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a yeah. fucking lottery. Yeah. And, hey, don't forget you need to set your 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 graphic settings to best, not fastest, because speed versus. Lottery has fun. like a, a prize pool that accumulates, right? Yes, technically, like... if there are no winners, but since we pull winners, there is no pool. It's a raffle. <laughs> yeah, it is not a, a lottery. Raffle. Yeah, um, yeah. Arcane catalysts—they do weird things, and but they have requ- they have changed the number of required catalysts to eighteen and the XP reward to twelve thousand for that one once a day quest. Once a day, so that's what it is. So that they, they went with that. Hmm. Yeah. Or is that a different quest? This one we were it's talking about. It's the same about. quest we were talking about the other okay. day. That that they actually banned three people for exploiting. Well, as I, I saw a post after that that, well, again, I'm not gonna bash him on it. Yeah. Well, said, it temp, said, temp ants. Temp said ants they were permanent. unbanning people as fast as they could. So that told me it was we're banning more, them. Yeah. It was more more than three people. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But it yes, probably was. Uh, again, uh, you know, Chris did make a valid point. You know, you could uh, have something like this and disrupt somebody or a couple people. Uh, for a little while, or we could have a two or three day roll back and disrupt everybody. What would you the, guys the, the, rather the, have? The, That's right. I actually, remember, since everything is tracked inside of a dirt database, there is no need to do that. They can d- do a individual character roll. Well, back see, that that's not what they would do in that situation. See what Chris is saying? It's yeah. either. Yeah, the yeah, person no gets it's, banned it's or we punished. roll back the whole damn thing affecting everybody. They're not going to spend it's, time going back. But yeah. that, that, that is one where previously when they talked about uh, characters, they also have the option to completely do a character wipe on that person. Indeed. It's like, hey, you got caught exploiting. Here's your punishment. Boom. You're Oof. level one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, virtue banner. I mean, there, there's all kinds of different uh, resolutions to that that does not require a server side rollback because it did not affect the whole server. It was a few individuals. Doesn't warrant it. Uh, virtue banners. Players will no longer accidentally receive quest completion flags for trading them. So you can go get your own. 
Uh, scene polish, you've got all kinds of stuff that happened out in central Brittany, including naming of NPCs. The Ruins of Ravensmoor, they add, they added Look some out. tier 8 plus mobs. Look out! Yeah. Isn't, right isn't the Ravens. Ruins of Ravensmoor a tier 2 scene? Well, read read on, my friend, and let's enlighten the new the folks out there. Yeah. In uh... yeah, Ru Ruins of Ravensmore used to be a tier two scene. Now it is a tier eight plus through various changes, including we higher level enemies, more enemies. the scale of this scene. Hmm. Um, and the complete elimination of leashing distance, so you will get chased through the entire dungeon. Uh, and the increase in difficulty of this scene is in part of a longer term effort. Well, they will increase the difficulty of all scenes in the Hidden Vale to at least tier 4. And they are going to expand the tiers up to tier 10. So all you guys who've been farming that tier two level when you go out there today thinking you're gonna have a cakewalk, get ready to have your pee pee's whacked. That's all I'm yes, gonna tell you. Yes, your pee pee will be whacked <laughs> vigorously, and uh, and no lube will be used. That's right. Uh, and of course, uh, a another favorite of ours, yeah, right outside the Owl's Head pee, here. Right outside Owl's Head. Used to be Owl's the best here. place for farming wood scrap. Uh, it is been upgraded to a tier 10 tier plus. Tier 10 plus. <laughs> this scene is not for the faint of heart. The scene was enlarged, moved to be party based, and updated with spawns that increased slightly in number, but greatly in difficulty. Yeah, the new the manager kitchen. of the keep is Garuk, and we'll make a post on who kills him first. Yeah. The increase in difficulty to know of the scene kills him first. <laughs> yeah, the increase in difficulty of this scene is part of a larger term effort where they'll be increasing the. We already said that statement. Uh, Sultan sewers and Salania catacombs. They have been raised to tier two, with some tier three enemies in the deepest parts. So I can still solo this. Which I um, always thought the sewers were already tier two. That was just. Me. I thought they were already tier two and tier three, anyway. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't know because was... I remember getting my ass handed to me by some of those elven archers inside of them. Still do from time to time if you're not paying attention. Hey, Shandy's back. Yeah, you know, we gotta go. I, I believe yeah. I believe he's gonna be down where we think he's gonna be, so we're gonna have to step out after the show yeah. here and yeah. go check we'll it out. Yeah, I'm not hunting for him for like three or four hours again. Uh yep. No, he'll probably be on the overland, visible to everybody, I <clears> think. I will probably be going to the ranch to like do some demolition. Hit it off to the ranch. Probably, if I if I can find someone to go with me, if I can get him. I'll to go. Get... Yeah, I'll be there in a couple of days after the work's done. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh, where where is advice? Uh, NPCs will now at tell you where someone is if you know what you're looking for. I I don't know if it will work for in uh, abstract themes like where is the bank. Where That's is the, the intention. Trainer? Where's the bank? Where's the skill trainer? Where's the damn yeah. tailor? Uh, but if you tailor types out there, there's some yeah. good news for you out there in the world. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know if it'll answer the abstract things, or if it's just the where's the beef. I mean, that's an important. Where's one. the beef? Yeah, I miss those <laughs> Wendy's commercials from my childhood. Uh, adventure trainers in Airy, Ardoris, and Resolute now tell you that if you want good gear, go find it from another player. Uh, new books, including Lord British's uh, daily stand-up songs. Um, yes, I, I, I saw yeah. that one. That's uh, going to be a must-have for the collection. Ophelia. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point of the cow and owl's head? Yeah, that's a great question. Ophelia was the only cow in game for like the first two years of this game. The only cow. Yeah, she, so she Ophelia was, hey, is like. Do you, do you, you remember know, when she graduated to Pleather? To the Pleather version of Ophelia? Yeah, the, Absolutely. The, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Uh, so new books in Runic Cataclysm, Obsidian Magic, The Concave of Celestis, The Fomorian Wars, and the about the Dire Prophecy. Hey, Dire in Latin, also named after the character in the book. Look at that. Uh, the, the Granis Colossus, the gates which locked during the wave battles have now have the proper visual effects. Grunvold Shardfall, they deleted one of the spawn points. Uh, Blood Bay shifted one of the scene's entrances so it would no longer collide with a player lot. Nightshade Pass and Hilt Fortress. Another interesting uh, yeah, stuff. Both of those scenes now have a variety of traps added to them. Yay. Shrek. Skrek, they added traps to the prison area. Uh, Sultan, they fixed an issue where the ref refugees had stopped sitting. Bandit and Skeleton roving encounters have been added uh, they've converted those to wave battles, so be careful of the high threat menaces that appear now, from killing yeah, you. Yeah, this is a very yes. unique and interesting change for those of you people out there, because uh, these are a lot of scenes that people would like to go out, go and in and farm. Because farm once them. you that's right, you you'd kill everything, and they wouldn't respawn, and so it's but the resources would respawn, and so now that they're wave battles, it actually makes them a lot more interesting. Well, I'm going to say that this may make them even more so open to farming depending on what the drops are on these uh, bandits and skeletons oh, yeah. now. So, um but yeah. be ready for that that uh you're going to get you're going to get rushed. You're going to get bum rushed in some of these scenes now, so be careful. Yep. Uh, Blood River Outskirts, they made the water below the broken log bridge deeper so that new players I will love no this longer one. fall yeah. to their deaths in a starting <laughs> scene. <clears throat> Damn them. They don't want the newbies falling to their death. Well, how are they going to learn if they don't fall how to are their they death going at to least learn? once? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. To, to me, it's like redo all of the starting stuff. Actually let people learn basic game mechanics before you do shit. I, it, because realistically, I mean, that is one of the largest complaints to this day. Realistically, there should be a whole tutorial that, like, you could work through before you ever enter the game. Yes. Yeah, realistically. Yeah. <laughs> Cre create a tutorial. This is how you do this. It yeah. doesn't have to be very advanced. But this is how you craft. Would, this is phenomenal. how you fight. Yes. This is how you interact. This is how you, yeah. Yeah, and that way it's like, then you can go into the story but and, and leave it the way it is. But a tutorial is essential because a lot of these systems are not intuitive and uh, are not logical. Um, yeah, Isle of Storms, Enter the Lunar, lunar Rift Task now properly clears airy they replaced one of the two textile merchants with a tailoring merchant yeah there you go people for all those people been yeah. complaining that there ain't no tailor in airy of yeah, course the, blows the whole regional thing out of the wood economy yeah i mean i yeah. i always assumed they left that tailor out because that wasn't a tailoring epicenter of the world so you know it was, yeah, they, uh, they, they have to import all of their textiles yeah. 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 Well, the 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 red light district is now open inside of Kroll. Uh, they added right. red lights flanking each door, which flash while the monkeys that enter from that door are enraged. Disco lights. Right. Oh, that's yeah. what you meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We interpret the news. Yeah, we, we interpret the news that's and right. just occasionally randomly make up stuff. Uh, those are working monkeys now, you know. Yeah. And for some reason, Sulfur's Ash is spawning along walls inside of a tiled area. Um, no, yeah. they took the spawn that was spawning funky and put it along the walls, if you read that. Properly. Which still doesn't make sense, because yeah, well. it's a tiled floor. It's like, why the fuck's there Sulfur's Ash? Uh, but Chillblains has still been renamed because Chili it is beans. still Chillblains, Compendium of Pain and Suffering, but it is now the Challenge Dungeon. Waves are now staggered so that half the enemy spawn at the start of the wave and an additional enemy spawns every few seconds until the maximum for that wave is reached uh, rather than all spawning at once. That makes the leech room and the mimic room sort of uh, 
survivable the first time? Is that what they're telling us? Hey, imagine when they turn it into a tier 10 challenge dungeon. Hey, man, I tell you what. First time you run through that and you run into those two rooms, man, you, you're just mortified because you have no idea what the hell hit you. Well, I, I, I still remember when it was, I mean, deer was the first one. The second one was what, bears? Bears, the then third? wolves, then... Wolves, then bears. Yeah, wolves, then bears. Then bears yeah. I don't know. I thought they were the yeah. same. I just thought they changed it up just a wee bit. But uh... Uh, I don't know. I haven't been in there in a very long time. So I, I need to go join the Jade Dragons on Tuesday nights. Uh, right, Resolute. Let's, uh, yeah, let's finish up these couple of yep. items here and we'll stop at uh, new and polished in game maps. We'll tell you more about that yep. later. Resolute got some love with the geothermal steam effects, the South Boundless Forest. They added the proper visual effect for the Blessing of the Tamer. Blessing. Um, it invol involves some mild bestiality. Uh, and K Fables 1 through 4 are now available, whereas previously only 2 and 3 were available. But the, that is just an inkling of what the devs actually produced with release 54. Yes. Which came now, out uh, speaking of maps real quick, uh, I know that uh, people have said they want this fog of war thing. Well, I'll tell you what. I was out the other day, and uh, I was in a, in a place that I hadn't been, and I'm looking on my map to try and find what it was I was looking for, and I could have sworn it was there prior to last time, whatever. But anyway, I noticed that when I was on the map, as I encountered these NPCs in the game, they then now highlighted on my map. I haven't seen anything noted anywhere about this, but it seems that the map has got some updates, including, uh, which is noted, uh, auto-updating of positioning of player-owned towns. So if your town's moved and all that stuff, the map should now take care of that, is my understanding. But uh, Maybe. We'll delve more into that later on. There's List. And there's List. List List has made it. Now, uh, also, who did I see? Akondis over there. Akondis, can you get over here, uh, standing between Jack and I? Let's show everybody that new uh, obsidian stuff. Is that what you're wearing, the obsidian? Or Gixie? If you guys can get over here and show us that uh, stuff for the people real quick. That would be great. The new obsidian gear. The, the new obsidian I, gear. I, I, yes. I like those. I like those robes. Oops. I like what those wizard robe torso and leggings. I I really like those. Yeah, looking uh, really sharp here. And I had to turn off the field of view. It's giving me a. It gets headache. it's it's a little weird, ain't it? Yeah, I'm yeah. seeing it, there. it. It it's a it's a little bit too much distortion of yeah, let's, like let's character models. Yeah, bring this back to normal so that uh, yeah yeah it, it really warps it out of uh, yeah when you're looking at it like this. Ah, I see somebody's got the scheming emote also. What is that one with the little uh, dot there? What was that last one you did? Uh... It, I, I think they took the scheming emote from Lily. Yeah. <laughs> she's a Indeed. little schemer. Yeah, but she, hers is the begging She's emote. always scheming how to get some goodies off of you. We know that. And, and, or how how yes, to get what, some loving off of Jack. Oh, I, I like the evil eye. I, I like the evil yeah, eye. Yeah, is that again, what that please? was? That was the evil eye? That yeah, was pretty cool. I, Yes, we need the evil eye again. That was I have not pretty my cool. Bank to claim rewards. But uh, let's remind everybody out there about that uh, wonderful NBNN app. Uh, we got some feedback on Twitter the other day. It was amazing. It's like, well, LBSOTA's got its own news organization and its own app. And uh, yeah, thank you for that shout out. The app's been out there for quite some time now. Uh, couple of years we, we've and, only been doing it for years man yeah <laughs> the app's been out there since like uh, 2016 it's been out about two years now of course we've been <laughs> we've been here bringing you the news for over three years on nbnn and uh thanks to you guys for helping keep us here but the nbnn shroud of the avatar app 
is available in all the Play Stores, the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, or the Apple iTunes Stores for all your electronic devices. So don't be fooled by those other apps that just have one store or the other store or claim they're an app, but, you know, really yeah, fall short. We've got you covered with everything you need, everything from the MBNN Daily Britannian, a pu newspaper published all about soda and uh, other things uh, surrounding the game seven okay. days a week without fail every day published for your enjoyment if you like you can get it in your inbox but of course the app's a great way to read it while you're uh, doing other things and you know what i'm talking sitting about. on the toilet that's right yeah. <laughs> sitting on the can need something to read uh, you can check Sitting out the, the forums, throne. you can shop the marketplace, you can listen to the podcast if you missed a daily show, you can check out social media and say hello to us, or you can check out the calendar of events happening every day here on nbnn.info. Anything that's, that's happening right. inside that, Trinity Avatar, it's on the calendar. Nothing's We've happening. It it, it's 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 Thursday, man. It's there's nothing that's really right. happening today. And of course, but our yes. calendar is brought to you by Hometown Hero. And that community calendar is on nbnn.info. Just click on the calendar button, and then you can look at all of the variety of calendars that are linked that Laz has aggregated. That's right. And if you have a Google public calendar related to Shroud of the Avatar. Or if you want to add events to the Shroud of the Avatar or the NBNN Shroud community calendar, you need to email please, that guy. Please, News at nbnn.info. Do not all, yeah. duplicate your events on every Multiple calendar. Calendars. You will yeah. be blacklisted. And and as soon as I actually find out that calendar, I'll in, I'll uncheck all of their events every I, single I, day. I, You'll I, never I know, hear about I know that whose shit. calendar it is. Huh? I, told, I told you whose calendar Wh it was. Which calendar is that one? <laughs> Which one is it? Which one is it? Because I, I'm I'm trying to figure it out yeah, right now. I, I don't want to offend anybody on air. I I don't care. It's the Port Phoenix calendar. It, okay, here, hold on, hold on. There, there you go. I will not read their events anymore because they're duplicating shit on multiple calendars. Okay, so Monday through Friday. 12s and 6s is around the clock. You can always listen to Wadio Radio Free Britannia to listen to no, two you. idiots interpreting oh, the news. So you don't have to. A little show called Lunch with us. At 7 o'clock, or actually at 6 o'clock on Avatars Radio, we do have DJ Seleth doing Faster! Louder! Yes. Uh, although it's Seleth or Seleth or DJ what? Seleth, I thought. Seleth, yeah. I, I can't remember. Uh, at 7 o'clock on Wadia Radio for Britannia is the 70s at 7. At 10 o'clock on Avatars Radio is the Temper Tantrum today. Because every day is a great Triple day for a Temper T. Tantrum. And the final event of the today is also on Wadio Radio Free Britannia at 10 p.m. And that is the record room. And that's really our community no calendar for the stuff today. that I'm going to read. No physical events today, really. Yeah, nope, nope. It's all, it's all stuff you, you can know. It's, there's one thing we really need to tell everybody, aside from the fact that they're watching NBNN News, is that you are in the middle of double experience, double adventuring, double crafting. Everything in, is double for the next two weeks. Not until the first patch. No? It was that one thing that's not double being XP picked. starts at patch one. Does it? Where did, yeah, where did, they, where did they, you see this? Um, hold on, hold on. Uh, let, let me go find and it. And can uh, we get a verification on that? Absolutely. Hold, hold on, hold on. Um, you need to scroll up. You're thinking about that uh, other thing that don't see. take effect till the second patch, I believe. Uh, I I I saw it. I saw it before the show. I thought you saw it too, and then I proceeded to ignore it. Double um, XP's active, says Botox. He Shoot does? Shoot right down okay. out of the water. So, anyway, okay, so you're maybe... watching nbnn.info. Double experience, double adventuring. Everything is doubled. Even out in the world, they decided to give us double... 
crafting when you're doing your stuff out in the world, not just at the crafting yeah. table. So get out there and get it two weeks. And, of course, get out there on Monday. Because on Monday they may the just show. give you another chance to uh, shoot for another two weeks next month. So don't forget to hit that talent on. You're watching NBNN News here on twitch.tv slash Genesis. Twitch.tv slash NBNN News. Checking us out on NBNN.info. On replays on YouTube or catching us on the air. Airwaves in game on WRFB. We do appreciate it. And, of course, thank you for all your support over the last couple of years. If you want to become a supporter, you can go to any of our sites. Click on those donate links and uh, support us. You can cheer with bits during the live stream. You can use that Amazon Prime account. I know you all got them out there because you all like that two-day shipping. But you also get a free sub every month, and we'd appreciate it if you use that on our streams. Don't cost you nothing. just takes you a little bit of time. This stream, this stream. <laughs> Of course, you can go to patreon.com slash nbnn, become a monthly supporter, or you can become a sponsor. Go check out our sponsor packages as well on uh, Patreon. Coming up in June, Primal Nature. Heed the call and help the airy fun. Benefiting Conservation International, the airyfund.org, is bringing you the latest in community support and activism helping save the world one charity at and, a time. And for the record, if you make that uh, $25 or more donation to that, eventually I will be delivering those or mailing in game those cloaks and items. I have not received them yet, so I have not begun that process yet. As soon as they, they take, come in, yeah. you guys then I will start. start. Them. That's right. Yes. And thank you so, all. Of you early supporters that who have already, already donated. Yeah. Uh, the uh, cause has been open for about two weeks, actually, unofficially, but it kicks Simply off early. officially tomorrow. And uh, thank you to all you early supporters. Uh, we've got news coming up on that, and we'll bring it to you. Um, we've got some major supporters who are always doing things. If you want to do events, stuff like that, check out the org. We'll tell you more. Um, coming up. SodaConAustin.org for the latest in SodaCon news. SodaCon, SodaCon, SodaCon. The event is shaping up to be a blast here in the release year. And we've got devs, devs, devs. DJ Darkstar going to be joining the dance party on Saturday night for a special set. Of course, uh, we've got uh, developer uh, conferences, we've got gatherings, we've got land parties, we've got all sorts of events scheduled uh, for you. Two remaining VIP tickets get yours now because once those are gone, that's it. You got to wait till next year. And of course, plenty of uh, regular general admissions tickets available. Get yours now because the longer you wait, the higher the price gets. Hometownhero.com for all your e-juice needs. If you're looking for some vape juice, check out hometownhero.com. I tell you what, man, the guys down at Hometown Hero take care of me over here and uh, they'll take care of you if you use the promo code NBNN. You'll save 20% when you check out. Coil More Wands, putting the magic in your hands. Scrota's music service, keeping you entertained whenever he shows up on the lot. Or if you want, you can hire him. The Britannian Money Company wants you to become a member of the BMC. Go down to Black Rock Cove and check out what's going on. Take a look around. Or you can go to bmcguild.com. Check out the information there. Relicsbyreal.com for all your licensed Shroud of the Avatar swag. Promo code NBNN saves you 10%. And of course, shroudmarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. And again... 10% off weddings and more by last, not just weddings, but a whole lot more on ShroudMarketplace.com. That, that's only if you use the pro promo code NBNN on Laz's shop. That's what I said, weddings yeah. and more by Laz. You didn't say what the promo code was. It's NBNN, only on Laz's shop. Not on my shop. Only on Laz's shop. Not on Jack's shop. Not on anybody else's shop. This, this is the guy who gives you the promo codes. Knows how to save your money. 
Yeah. <laughs> My yeah, I know. I know. You're just getting that now. Come on. Yeah. You got, you got two minutes. Okay. Now. But yes, <laughs> I know you only need 30 seconds. But uh... shroudmarketplace.com is the best place to go buy or sell anything shrouded, the avatar related. Over 115 different players registered as vendors at Shroud Marketplace. And each one of those vendors is responsible for setting their own prices and maintaining their own inventory. And as soon as you pay, they get paid. So unlike some of the other places out there. And not only that, you you know what? You can find all kinds of stuff from gold ingots, iron ore, teleports and recall scrolls from me, uh, all the way to uh, game gold, crowns That's of the right. obsidian services, just like some of our favorites, which I, I loved Wolfton's shop with the cheese on writing. You can, writing. you can you can pay Kiefer to help you set up your writing. your greenhouse because that's a royal pain in the ass and just. I tell you what, Sp- Spiffy's uh, got yeah. some information for you guys and gals of greenhouses hey. out there, and he'll probably share it with you on tomorrow's show. Hey, you, you know what? But if you're you're looking to pay someone to do things for you, you can find a decorating service at Shroud Marketplace, or you can contact the Deco Divas and buy their indoor outdoor deco packs because that's an indoor decorations you can find the deco divas have some stuff uh their deco packs are available on shroud marketplace you can even find some dude offering to hook you up with a wedding or scrotus music what. service thing that's right services services service service with a smile especially. anything you want that's right. Anything that's you right. want from Scrooge's yeah, leveling music service. Ser- leveling services, all that stuff's available on Shroud Marketplace. And you know what? It's all not going to get you banned because Portalarium has said, hey, these things are not banned. Are legal. That's right. And it is as anything as on Shroud Marketplace game, yeah, is something that you can spend your real life course, cash on. I got to remind you, not just weddings, but a whole lot more. I've got loads of ore. I've got loads of suet. You guys need materials? Come see me. I've got it. That's Wanna right. Get that double XP on. You, you better go to shroudmarketplace.com. Just don't turn in. Oh, you can't. That's stuff. right. You can't turn in those crystals and get banned anymore because uh, they've limited that to one a day now. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what time it is. I do, and I hate it's, when it, this happens, but it's time for us to get out of here. I know. It's, we we got to go do some playing. Unfortunately, I don't get to do uh, that. No, you, yeah, you, you I, 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 get to go, I, I get to go do some manual labor. And well, that's right. Fun. But uh, Release 54 is live, boys and girls. We'll be back with more tomorrow right here on NBN. Until then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are in BNN. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Watch out for those pitfalls and traps. We'll be back with more tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all then. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. We lived.